Hello, I'm Anne. I live in Europe, I'm 21 years old, and I'm writing a blog based on Eurostat statistics about sustainable development. Follow me, and I'll show you how close these are to our everyday life. I came up with the idea for the blog when my grandfather showed me his new pesticide-free garden. He told me how much organic farming in the EU was expanding. In 2014 alone, an area the size of Luxembourg became organic. I had never realised that. When we dropped his recycling off at the new recycling centre, my grandpa told me that in 2014, 434 kilograms per tonne of municipal waste was recycled. That's 51 kilograms more than in 2010. Recycling allows us to produce more without harming nature. That evening, we heard in the news that in 2015, the GDP per capita in the EU had, for the first time, exceeded its pre-crisis value, reaching €26,300. Yet great differences remain between EU countries. Unfortunately, the benefits of economic growth are not evenly distributed. Between 2010 and 2014, Income inequality between the richest 20% and the poorest 20% of EU citizens remained relatively constant, with the richest earning five times more than the poorest. This income inequality cuts through society. Inequality also exists between genders, particularly regarding pay. Take my friend Marta. She has a good job and is well paid. However, in general, women have jobs that are paid less than men. In 2014, a woman earned an average of only 84 cent per hour for every euro paid to a man. As Marta says, education and training can contribute to close this gap. More and more women are attaining university degrees and they do so more than men. The same is true for lifelong learning activities. And while writing this blog, I'm learning too. At least European statistics are not just abstract numbers, but part of our everyday life. Indeed, Anne's story shows uh, that Eurostat sustainable development indicators are relevant for everyday lives of EU citizens. To find out more, Read our publications on sustainable development and visit our website.